Pastor Mark, the question is, can you clarify for me who the 24 elders are and how many worlds do you think that exist, all this pertaining to the 24 elders? Well, a couple things. How many worlds exist? More than my mind can ever comprehend, my brother. More than my mind can ever imagine. Um, we do know that in Hebrews, and I'll answer the last part of the question first, in Hebrews chapter uh, 1, um, it does tell us that there are multiple worlds in various universes. These worlds have never fallen by sin. Um, look at uh, Hebrews chapter 1, and uh, you'll find that in Hebrews 1 and uh, verse uh, 1. God, who at various times and in different ways spoke in times past to the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by his Son whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the what? Worlds, plural. So we know there are multiple worlds that have never fallen by sin, that earth is the only planet that ever fell by sin. Satan was cast out into the earth. So there are multiple worlds. We have no idea how many numbers there are. You know, Deuteronomy 29, 29 says, the secret things belong unto the Lord our God. Now, what about the 24 elders? Who are they? What do we know about the 24 elders? 24 elders are mentioned uh, in the book of Revelation. They are mentioned in a couple places in Revelation. One in Revelation chapter 4. And um, let's look at that passage ourselves and see if we can ever determine anything about those 24 elders. Revelation, the fourth chapter, and um, here we go. Verse four, Revelation 24, four. Around the throne were 24 uh, thrones. And on the thrones, I saw 24 elders sitting in white robes, and they had crowns of gold on their head. Now, this is an interesting passage regarding the 24, 24 elders. It says that um, around the thrones, they have, they sit there, they're on thrones, and they ha they're called elders. Uh, angels in the Bible are never called elders that I know of. And uh, here, these are white robes. White robes, of course, represent the righteousness of Christ. They also have crowns of gold, which indicates victory. So evidently, these 24 elders have been redeemed from the earth. Now, you'll remember that when Christ was resurrected from the dead, that the graves were open. Let's go back and see if we can find that. In the book of Matthew, it talks about Jesus' crucifixion and his resurrection. So we're going to go back to Matthew. We're going to look there at Matthew, the 27th chapter. Matthew chapter 27. And... Um, this is talking about Jesus' crucifixion. You come to the end of this, um, Christ's resurrection takes place. And, uh, but Matthew chapter 27, and uh, you look at verse 51. Then behold, the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. This when Christ is crucified. The earth quaked and the rocks were split. The graves were opened. And many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming out of the graves after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. Isn't this amazing, though? I mean, Christ dies. The graves are open. After his resurrection, they come out of the graves. And what do they do? They go and testify of the resurrected Christ in the city. So what do we know here? We know that there were those that died before the cross. We know that they were resurrected. We, now, what happened to them? Were they resurrected to die again? Is there any indication that when Christ ascended to heaven, they too ascended with him? There is. If you go to Ephesians chapter 4, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 7 and 8, Ephesians 4. But to each one of us, grace was given according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore, he says, when he ascended on high, he led captivity captive. You see where it says captivity captive? The marginal reference there says he led a host of captives and he gave gifts to men. So the marginal reference is he led a host of captives high. 
So what do we know? When Christ was resurrected, we um, know that there were those who came out of the graves. We know when he ascended as his honor convoy, some of those that came out of the graves and were resurrected at the time of his death and resurrection, ascended with him. He led captivity captive or a host of captives. Now, who could the 24 elders be? It's very likely that the 24 elders are some of those representative of the Old Testament and the New Testament. You know, in the Old Testament, you've got 12 patriarchs. The New Testament, you've got the 12 disciples. It is very possible that they're representatives of every generation that was resurrected at the time of Christ and ascended heaven with him as his honor convoy that he has victory over the grave. So to me, the 24 elders are men, women that are redeemed from the earth, representative of those who will be redeemed when Christ comes. And I think that's why they have the white robe saved by the righteousness of Christ and why they have the crown upon their head. All right. Thank you, Pastor Mark, for that.